Hello and welcome to the third instalment of the Big Blue Ocean Cleanups educational programme. Today we're going to be talking to you about pollution analysis and we've come to a wonderful little spot down here in Cornwall to tell you all about it. No matter where we live in the world, we are all connected to a large body of water, whether it be a lake or the open ocean. Nearly all rivers and streams eventually meet the sea. And as the cracking film Finding Nemo told us all, all drains lead to the ocean. Small streams and creeks join large rivers, which eventually join estuaries and bays, which all end up in the open ocean. Then when it rains, materials on land such as soil, chemicals and litter are carried through sewage and runoff to large bodies of water. So the question is, Hannah, what can we do to reduce the amount of plastic pollution entering our oceans? Well, there are three things that we can all start doing to help minimise the amount of plastic that ends up in our seas. And they are to reduce, reuse and recycle all of the plastics that we use in our day to day lives. Now, whether it's because rubbish is entering our river systems, our coastal areas or if it's being dumped out at sea, the problem is more and more of it is ending up in our oceans and it comes in a variety of different forms. One form of marine plastic is plastic fragments. Now, these can be complete, hard, broken and come in any shape and size in the forms of, well, broken bottles, caps and even toys. And a second form of plastic pollution is plastic foam. Now, this is any compressible and aerated plastic of any shape and it's usually made up of polystyrene packaging and or rubber. Then we have plastic sheets. This, is, this includes plastic bags, tarpaulins and even plastic lines and rope from fishing nets form another form of marine plastic. Now some of these types of plastics can be identified and scientists can even attach satellite transmitters and sensors to floats and it will track their movements around the ocean currents. For example, in 1992, an entire shipping container filled with toys, including rubber ducks, washed up on beaches all over the world. So one thing we need to all bear in mind is that even relatively isolated and far away places can still see the consequences of plastic pollution. And the bigger picture is, would we like to play on a beach that's covered in plastic pollution? No, we wouldn't. Nope. And if you don't want to visit a beach like that, then just think of all the animals such as seabirds, turtles and seals that rely on these areas to lay their eggs, rest and raise their pups. Now, once again, if you'd like to see some more information, head on over to the Big Blue Ocean Cleanup's website at www.bigblueoceancleanup.org. And do follow us on social media to keep up with all the fantastic work that Big Blue are doing. Once again, thank you for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Bye. See ya.